A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord revealed it to me. I was warned. Lord, that was when you opened my eyes to their scheming. I, for my part, was like a trustful lamb being led to the slaughterhouse, not knowing the schemes they were plotting against me. Let us destroy the tree in its strength. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name may be quickly forgotten. But you, Lord of hosts, who pronounce a just sentence, who probe the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Lord, Lord God, God, I, I take, take refuge, refuge in, you. in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuer, save me and rescue me, lest he tear me to pieces like a lion and drag me off with no one to rescue me. Lord, Lord God, God, I, I take, take refuge in you. you. Give judgment for me, Lord. I am just and innocent of heart. Put an end to the evil of the wicked. Make the just stand firm, you who test mind and heart, O just God. Lord, Lord God, God, I, I take, take refuge, refuge in, in you. you. God is a shield that protects me, who saves the upright of heart. God is a just judge, slow to anger, but he threatens the wicked every day. Lord, Lord God, God, I take, I take refuge, refuge in, in you. you. Let us stand for the gospel. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Several people who had been listening to John, to Jesus, said, Surely he must be the prophet. And some said, He is the Christ. But others said, Would the Christ be from Galilee? Does not Scripture say, that the Christ must be descended from David and come from the town of Bethlehem, so the people could not agree ab about him. Some would have liked to arrest him, but no one actually laid hands on him. The police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees, who said to them, Why haven't you brought him? The police replied, There has never been anybody who has spoken like him. So the Pharisees answered, You have been led astray as well. Have any of the authorities believed in him? Any of the Pharisees? This rabble knows nothing about the law. They are damned. One of them, Nicodemus, the same man who had come to Jesus earlier, said to them, But surely the law does not allow us to pass judgment on a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he is about. To this they answered, Are you a Galilean too? Go into the matter and see for yourself. Prophets do not come out of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel of John captures the various reactions and responses to Jesus. The Jewish leaders disagreed in the assessment of who Jesus was, but generally refused to believe he could be the Messiah. While the same argument raged among the Jewish lay people, some of them decided in Jesus' favor. For example, the temple guards openly expressed admiration for him 
They claim that no one ever spoke like that before. Theologians and the laity still debate the basics of our faith. Who is Jesus for us? How can he lead us to salvation? How should this church be organized? What attitudes and behaviors does God require of us? Christians are still divided into denominations, each quoting the Bible as the authority. Lent calls us to deeper prayer and study. We might want to review our guidelines for reading the Bible profitably. What St. John says <coughs> about Nicodemus suggests that we should keep on an open mind about texts that are difficult to, to interpret. As Nicodemus told his colleagues on the Jewish Council, we should be slow to condemn what we do not understand. Like him, we need to know the facts before rejecting or accepting something as true. And in order to understand, we must respect differences of opinion. Jesus never taught his disciples to abandon their Jewish faith. Rather, he sought to bring his faith, this faith to its perfection. His teaching gained the respect of honest people who valued whatever is good and wholesome. The Bible should not be used to make what is good look bad, nor make what is bad look good. Biblical interpretation should be honest and fair. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your praise in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own, your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. 
by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and all the, and archangels, and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be in it. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. In the newsletter coming out tomorrow, uh, I've included confessions for those who would like to go to confession and do their Easter confession. I'll be available during the weekdays, Monday to Saturday, after Mass. You want to go to confession, you come to me. I normally use the presbytery since the confessionals are out of bounds at this time of the pandemic. So there's enough space in there. Um, you should feel free to ask me. 
after morning mass. Let us pray. <coughs> May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by your working, render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.